Okay, we're back again and we're explaining what we talked about in the last video. As you can see, it is up to 85%. I still have the double lines as the time to empty. That means it's gone up uh, past 100 hours. You, If you go back and watch the uh, zero one video, you can see that um, how it counts up slowly and then uh, disappears. So once it gets up to a hundred, it just gives you the double lines. So again, this time to empty is over a hundred hours. Okay, and right now we've been running this for two hours, and we're up to eighty five when it was down when it was eight um watts going in and eight watts going out we were at 84 so you see that it is tracking upwards okay so the whole point is is that we're trying to prove because we have people making comments um dave dave just made a comment and he, uh he said that it, I self-destructed don't know exactly what that means but we want to dispel because I went on his channel and start to see that he's using the word over unity and trying to explain his theory on what over unity which made me think I think I'm going to start pacing all these little movies together on everybody who says what over unity is and the most comical one I've seen is this guy from um, Mexico who has this weird wooden structure. And he says, watch this. This is over unity. And the, flip, the, the wood flips upside down and goes over to the other side. And he says, over unity. There is literally thousands of these videos of everyone using the word because they like it. So I wrote back to Dave Dave and told him, I says, look, dude, if you got a theory of something motor that puts out more energy than you put into it, give it its own name. Don't use someone else's name and say this is over unity because you're just going to add to the thousands of people who are out there using someone else's words, which is mine, and then say this is over unity. And you just become part of the collection of people who all claiming over unity. But here's the key. You asked them, did you make that name up? Did you produce over unity? What's the definition of over unity? And none of them can explain it. They only say more power out. Well, give me the definitions. Now, what we're going to be doing here is not only giving you the definition, we're gonna show you what we're doing, and then we're gonna give you equations in physics, okay? So V over one, which is over unity, will be explained in physics, how it works step by step in each one of these videos. And when, like I said, when I finished all these videos, you will have a good understanding what over unity is and then we will have a good representative that no one else out there has ever given they just say it's over unity and then they try to show you that they put in more power now dave dave and you know who you wrote wrote the reason why you're getting extra power out is because when you run things through a motor Okay, and because the wind wires, the looping wound wires around a magnet gives you that extra power. So that motor wants to act like a generator and a motor at the exact same time. Okay, so yes, it will boost up your power a little and then you're going to get extra power out. But it is the same energy, which is. The upcoming videos that I'm going to do, and it's going to be quite a few of them, are going to show. It's called a voltage doubler. And anybody in electronics knows how you can take a circuit and get double the energy out, okay,
from a lower energy okay but it's called stored energy it's not actually giving you the is it's giving you the illusion that you're getting double energy while consuming the same amount of energy that you're putting out there so if you put in one vote and you can get six votes out with a voltage doublers that's because those caps are like batteries they fill up and they give you the illusion that you're getting more energy out than you put in but it all comes from one double a battery or what do you say and i will show videos and put links down so everybody can see this it's just that you fill those caps up and because you can alternate them back and forth it gives the appearance of more energy being produced out but it's the same energy that comes from there and we're going to explain that in more details but right now uh two hours and something out i've still got a hundred hours and if you believe in perpetual motion and all that of course you're going to disagree with me okay these are not perpetual motion things they're indefinite motion okay they run for extremely long time which i'm trying to show you i took a store-bought battery that means this this goal zero battery that's the symbol that's the okay so we in case i am i pronounced it wrong and i'm trying to show you just by taking this cord right here and putting five volts two amps into this system that i can put what more energy in than i'm getting out so now i'm running something and charging it at the same time and what is my time to empty is either with the word uncalculable or it's a hundred hours over a hundred hours and more so the only way you're going to learn this if i try to document it i keep recording it and i'm just going to keep letting it run now anybody's out there who gets these things and you got a solar panel that puts out uh, two amps and five volts and you plug that into it okay and go back and look at my zero zero you start to understand that I've already got a loop that means I can take the energy out of here and it'll boost it up and then I can put the energy back into this we're gonna do that experiment and it's gonna do the same thing for me plugging it into a wall and it either going to have 11 watts no less than 10 watts going in and then you're going to get this this system where you can pull energy off for charging your phones and um, running fans and just like I'm doing right now with this experiment and it's going to last over a hundred hours it's going to go up let's see if we can get that into the frame go up in power oh well that thing scared me hold on let me get focused again i keep coming out okay okay so that thing dropped down and then went back up so now i gotta watch it now look at this 83 94 96 98 this is a good example that I needed to show you that and then 99 and then it hit a hundred and then it goes to the double line okay and we're gonna check back we're just gonna let this run and we're gonna keep checking back on how long we can run this system now i think i'm putting out more amps than i am uh putting in so that will go down and again this is not something that's supposed to run forever over unity was not supposed to be perpetual motion 
and that's a lot of people were claiming is never supposed to be perpetual motion all it is is telling you that when i plug that in that i can get more out of my batteries for a longer run time and that's letting you know and that's the only reason why we're doing it look at the empty time time to empty double lines you see it ticked up you see that the ac is running you see that only eight would eight is going out and 10 is going in so anytime that you turn this off and turn and and let this thing charge back up from the solar okay so this now the second thing that we're going to do is now prove that i can take my fiber optic solar hook it to this boost it up charge the battery and take the energy from the what's name now if you haven't watched any of the other fiber optics i'll put a link down in the bio, uh, to the bottom to show you how we do that so you can watch those videos and then you can understand that hey i see what you're doing the light takes very little energy okay but the solar and being so many solar give you that extra boost and then it's still not enough because solar just doesn't put out that much amperage you have to take an a actual step up booster to actually boost it up to uh, a level to actually push that amount of energy into a battery and charge it which are possible because i've had people tell me oh you can't charge a battery with 12 volts dude they make these things they sell it in the store for you to work with 12 volts and step it up to charge a 48 volt battery okay so you have to understand what's going on and how it's going on or people are just going to trick you every time i'm the father of over unity lloyd g stovall i'm out